Distinguished guests, the recipients of the National Medal of Science. Distinguished guests, the recipients of the National Medal of Technology and Innovation.
distinguished guest, the President of the United States. Technology for the improvement of the economic, environmental, social, and social well being of the United States. For this year's recipients, outstanding may be an understatement. They're extraordinary, delivering clean drinking water and fuel efficient heat sources to low income countries, growing crops that can withstand extreme weather, deepening our knowledge of blood vessels, nerve cells, and molecules, pointing the way for new treatments for diseases like cancer, Parkinson's, and addiction, transforming how we live, work, and communicate by being able, by, by helping create advanced manufacturing and expand access to the internet, protecting our democracy by developing new technologies to protect the right to vote, making our world more accessible by creating the next generation wheelchair technology, expanding, expanding our understanding of everything from the depths of the human eye to the depths of the universe. And they have paved the way for a generation of other scientists and innovators to pursue their own discoveries, to unlock our nation's full potential. All the honorees, thank you, thank you, thank you for your courage, for your perseverance, and maybe most importantly for your integrity. And thank you as well to the family members and loved ones here today. I want all the family members to stand. Come on. Thank you. I'm being a little facetious, but you know that most of the like growing up saying, it's time for dinner. I said, what? <laughs> anyway, thank you. I've long said America can be defined by a single word. I was in the Tibetan plateau with Xi Jinping. I spent a great deal of time with him one-on-one -on -one, back when I was vice president and since then. And he looked at me and he said, we just had simultaneous interpreters. He said, can you define America for me? And I said, I can. One word, I mean, this is silly. 
possibilities. Possibilities. The fact that several of today's honorees emigrated from other countries is proof of the assertion that everything is possible. You know, there will be more techno technological change in the next 10 years, maybe the next five years, than in the last 50 years, due to the large part of the mind sitting in front of us. And <clears throat> I want America to lead, lead that change. Because of the greatness of a country, it's measured not only by the size of the economy and the strength of its military, but the strength of the nation is also measured by its boldness, of its science, quality, of its research, and the progress that helped bring forth for not only the country, but the whole world. In this administration, America will be the place where great science happens. You know, starting on day one, in the middle of the pandemic, we vaccinated a nation, the greatest operational effort ever undertaken by this country, operation. And we did it with the, a strategy based on science, not on politics. Now, science is exploring whether the mRNA technology that brought us safe and effective COVID vaccines can be used against cancer. I brought together some of our nation's top minds, my Council of Advisors on Science and Technology, and I elevated the Office of Science and Technology Policy to a cabinet-level position. It's helping lead major initiatives on everything from artificial intelligence to ARPA-H, to Advanced Research Projects Agency and Health for Health, that are going to drive breakthroughs in how we direct and treat cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, and other diseases. And this year, we're investing $200 billion in research and development. In addition, I signed the law of the Chips and Science Act and the Inflation Reduction Act, two of the most significant investments America has ever made supercharged research, innovation, and job creation. Already, private companies have announced over $600 billion in investments in industries from clean energy to advanced manufacturing right here in America. Right now, NASA is leading the mission on Mars. On our phones, we can see images of the red planet that before we can only dream of seeing. We are further into space than ever before. And the answer to the most fundamental question about how the universe began is not far away. All of this and so much more has happened because of America leading the way and because the people in this room and the labs across the country are leading. It matters. It matters. I want to close with this. Last year, I went to President Kennedy's library and museum in Boston to deliver a speech about what I refer to as the cancer moonshot that my wife Jill and I reignited after we got to the White House. You know, uh, I've said before, if there's one thing I wish as president I could do would be ending cancer as we know it. Two reasons. One, America began to lose faith in its ability to do anything. The one thing that improved Americans we can do anything is ending cancer. There's more important things that are more as consequential with any cancer. We've never set our mind to a project we haven't accomplished if we do it together. For those who have lost, like many of us in this room, and for the ones we can say, I don't just hope we can do it, I know we can do it. I was uh, in that library with Kennedy's daughter, Caroline, a dear friend. She presented me with her father's framed speech, answering the question of why he was sending America to the moon, America to the moon. And here's what he said in the letter. He said, President Kennedy said it was, quote, because the challenge is one we are unwilling, we are willing to accept, and one we're unwilling to postpone, and one in which we intend to win. That's the American attitude. Unwilling to postpone. We are unwilling to postpone. We have been postponing the objects too long. That's all of you here today. We've been unwilling to postpone. That's America at our best. We just have to remember who in God's name we are. We're the United States of America. There's nothing, nothing beyond our capacity. If we set our mind to do it together. So thank you very much. And with that, I'd like to 
to invite the military aid to come up and read the citations before I present the medals. Thank you all for being here. Huda Akil. The National Medal of Science is being presented to Huda Akil of the University of Michigan for pioneering contributions to our understanding of the brain biology of emotions. Her seminal discoveries of the molecular, neural, genetic, and behavioral mechanisms of pain, substance abuse, and depression have helped identify novel targets for treatments, strengthening our nation's public health, including the fight to end the opioid epidemic. The National Medal of Science has been awarded to Barry C. Barish of California Institute of Technology for exemplary service to science, including groundbreaking research on subatomic particles. His leadership of the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory led to the first detection of gravitational waves from emerging black holes, confirming a key part of Einstein's theory of relativ relativity. He has broadened our understanding of the universe and our nation's sense of wonder and discovery. The National Medal of Science has been awarded to Kabisa Ajeja of Purdue University for outstanding contributions to the science of plant genetics. By developing sorghum strains that withstand droughts and parasites, he has improved food security for millions. His advocacy for science, policy, and institutions as key to economic development has lifted the fortunes of farmers and strengthened the souls of nations. The National Medal of Science has been awarded to Eve Martyr of Brandeis University for her paradigm-shifting contributions to the understanding of neuronal circuit plasticity, homeostatic regulation of neuronal excitability, and individual variability. Her visionary application of theoretical and experimental approaches to understanding neural circuits and her inspirational advocacy of basic science.
The National Medal of Science has been awarded to Gregory A. Petsko of Harvard Medical School and Brigham and Women's Hospital for advancing our understanding of neurodegenerative diseases like ALS, Alzheimer's, and Parkinson's. His role in founding structural entomology, along with his commitment to educating the public about brain health, have empowered people around the world and raised the ambitions of our nation regarding aging with dignity. Accepting on behalf of Miriam Sarachik, Philip Sarachik, and Karen Sarachik. The National Medal of Science has been awarded to Miriam Sarachik of the City College of New York for her seminal contributions to fundamental experimental studies of molecular nanomagnets, quantum spin dynamics, and spin coherence in condensed matter systems at low temperatures. For her tireless advocacy of human rights throughout the world and for serving as an inspirational role model for women in physics. Subra Suresh. The National Medal of Science has been awarded to Subra Suresh of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and Brown University for pioneering research across engineering, physical sciences, and life sciences. A transformative educator, he has advanced the study of material science and its application to other disciplines. His commitment to research and collaboration across borders has demonstrated how science can forge understanding and cooperation among people and nations. Shelley Taylor. The National Medal of Science has been awarded to Shelley Taylor of the University of California, Los Angeles for groundbreaking research into mental health and the power of human connection. Her work showed that optimism, self-esteem, and strong relationships improve the health of people with cancer, diabetes, and other diseases, helping establish the fields of social cognition, health psychology, and social neuroscience, and increasing our nation's well-being. Sheldon Weinbaum. The National Medal of Science has been awarded to Sheldon Weinbaum of the City College of New York for pathbreaking research in biomechanics. His models have driven innovation in physiology, bone biology, and blood flow, increasing our understanding of cardiovascular disease and leading to life-saving treatments. 
His exceptional teaching and mentorship underscore his lifelong advocacy for diversity and inclusion, tapping into the full talents of our nation. The recipients of the National Medal of Technology and Innovation, Mary Dell Chilton. The National Medal of Technology and Innovation has been awarded to Mary Dell Chilton of Syngenta Biotechnology for laying the foundation of modern plant biotechnology. Her breakthrough success developing the first genetically modified plant has led to the engineering of crops that can withstand insects, disease, extreme weather, and climate change, transforming agriculture, protecting the planet, and improving the health of people around the world. John Chiopi. The National Medal of Technology and Innovation has been awarded to John Chiopi of Stanford University and Asia for advancements that helped bring high-speed internet to the world. The digital subscriber line that he helped invent ignited the growth of the digital age, vastly increasing people's access to information, reshaping the global economy, and transforming how we work, communicate, and find community. The National Medal of Technology and Innovation has been awarded to Rory A. Cooper of the University of Pittsburgh and the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs for empowering the lives of millions of Americans. By inventing and developing cutting-edge wheelchair, wheelchair technologies and mobility devices, cultivating the next generation of rehabilitation engineers and championing wounded veterans and students with disabilities, he moves us closer to being a nation that is accessible for all. Ashok Gadgil. The National Medal of Technology and Innovation has been awarded to Ashok Gadgil of the University of California, Berkeley and Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory for providing life-sustaining resources to communities around the world. His innovative, inexpensive technologies help meet profound needs from drinking water to fuel-efficient cook stoves. His work is inspired by a belief in the dignity of all people and in our power to solve the great challenges of our time.
Juan Gilbert. The National Medal of Technology and Innovation has been awarded to Juan Gilbert of the University of Florida for protecting democracy. His pioneering designs in elections technology aim to make voting more secure and accessible, <laughs> helping ensure that ours remains a government of, by, and for the people. An advocate for diversity in computer science, he makes this discipline stronger and more representative of our nation. Thanks to stereo lithography, which he invented, countless products can be prototyped faster and cheaper, reshaping industries from aerospace to healthcare to education. He continues to drive innovation in advanced manufacturing, critical to our nation's economy, security, and global leadership. Mobile for advances in engineering and technology that transformed how we communicate. His work on broadband optical systems, data communications, and wireless technologies have made communication faster and clearer, including improvements in battlefield communications that strengthen our national security. He exemplifies the power of American entrepreneurship and innovation.
James Fujimoto, Eric Swanson, and David Wang. The National Medal of Technology and Innovation has been awarded to James Fujimoto and Eric Swanson of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and David Wong of the Oregon Health and Science University for enhancing human vision. Their invention of optical coherence tomography transformed ophthalmology by providing a detailed image of the retina for the first time. Their work is now the standard of care for the detection and treatment of eye disease, giving millions a new chance to see the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and God bless you. Please remain in your seats until the President and the recipient have departed. Thank you.